Alrighty, today we are going to be looking at keying inside Unreal. So that's green screen, blue screen, whatever color you want screen. Um, so there are two methods to key in Unreal. Uh, it's one through media bundle and one through composure. Uh, we're going to be looking at both as well as how to set up the media bundle. Um, and then we're going to finish by having a quick look at how to composite. Um, composite? Compose? Compose? Um, how to compose your shot that doesn't sound right um with composure how to sort of like layer them together uh, inside unreal um so we're not doing camera tracking with the green screen today i think i probably will be doing that but probably a little later um so first of all i'm just in a blank unreal project for the games one uh i'm going to enable a couple of plugins so what we need first of all is um the plugin for your capture card. So I'm using the Blackmagic SDI 4K, so I'm gonna enable the Blackmagic one. If you're using an AGA, obviously use that. Um, next, we need to enable Composure, like so. And lastly, we need uh, Media Framework Utility, wherever it is. Media, here we go. So we need the Media Framework Utilities and the Media IO Framework, like that. So go ahead and restart the editor. Alrighty, so they're both enabled. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna look at getting pro video into Unreal. So this will be the same for AGA and Blackmagic. Um, web, web, I tried webcam, I could not get it to work. Um, so we're going to create a new folder and we're just gonna call it a uh, pro video input. Um, like so, we're gonna go into it and we're gonna right click. Uh, under media, we need a media bundle. Here it is, media bundle, um, which I'm gonna call Blackmagic input. Um, black magic is one word like so so that does create another folder with stuff in it as well um, as you can see I'll get there in a minute so if you double click it um, you'll have media source like this uh, so we're gonna go black magic media source because that's what we're using uh, and if we hit the arrow down uh, we can go in here and we can there's my deck link SDI 4k so it's important that you match your settings otherwise it just straight up won't show up um, also although it can import interlaced um, unreal as far as I know cannot actually make interlaced video it cannot run at a uh, like a 24i instead of 24p um, which does cause issues with tracks lining up so just be aware of that um, so I am running at 1080p progressive at 60 FPS I know that's what my input is uh, another thing to note if you're using like DSLRs or something like that just because they're set at um, especially you know not pro grade cameras if they're even though they might be set at 1080p 24 fps what they actually output out their hdmi port um can be different um, but i know for a fact that's what mine is uh, i don't have time code system so that is fine 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 so save it like so now if we drag it out into our world we should get um no input because I bet you this is actually alrighty so I figured out my problem uh, OBS was already had the deck link in it so it was sort of taking priority over Unreal so if it is working we can drag out this media bundle and here we go so uh, Mr. Penguin here will be helping us today um, now this is not a well lit green screen I'm gonna say that right now um, it is by far a rather terribly lit green screen however um, uh, that's the best I could do. Uh, Unreal's keying is not fantastic. It's pretty, pretty bad. So you want as great a, uh, as great a key to start, uh, or sorry, as great a lit green screen, you know, follow, there's plenty of tutorials out there for like how to light a green screen and how to do all that properly. You want it as good as possible before you start keying because unlike say after effects and stuff where this is probably okay uh in the case of unreal this is absolute garbage as you're going to see it's going to produce rather horrible key um so now that we have that in here the first way of keying is using the media bundle here so if we go into our uh assets folder that next to the media bundle um, we have this input which is actually a material instance and so if we double click on that we actually at the top here uh, let me make it bigger have a key here so it says enable key 
Um, so we just hit OK, and then yes again, and we start getting all these options. Um, and so I'm going to select a color. Um, so you sort of have to select a color from like this tiny ass, tiny little window. Um, oh, that's better. Like so, and then we have a few settings to play with. Uh, let's see, Luma mask, alpha, min, alpha, just have a fiddle. I'm, these don't really line up to any particular setting I know of in chroma keys. Um, and you know, you have a couple of other settings down here. Alpha preview, is that the one we... No, that doesn't really help either. Yeah, this one is not very great. Um, so we can just save that though. And so here we go. We've got a basic key happening already and it's it's not half bad considering how poorly the green screen, you can obviously see here and then over here where we had sort of a brighter and a more shadow section, but uh, that's pretty cool. The benefit of using a media bundle is, um, I wonder if there's a material in here. Uh, I can use materials. It's brushed steer, no, chrome. Why is there no like reflective water lake? No, that's definitely not right. Um, okay, maybe I won't be able to illustrate it. But the benefit of using the media bundle here is it exists in the world and so it'll show up in reflections and stuff. Especially if you have ray tracing on, that'll work really well. Um, so that is a uh, interesting thing um, to keep in mind. Uh, however, you know, because the camera can move away from it, so that's a negative, I guess. Um, the other thing you can look at is this is just a material instance. So if we go in and we look at the material it's instancing, um, you know, you can come in and edit it. And so the main thing happening in here is this chroma key, um, which is also a function. So we can go in here and you can edit it. So if you want to, you know, create your own chroma key in Unreal, then that's completely possible because this is just, you know, like chroma key alpha. That is its own. Like eventually you're going to get to, you know, just math. Here it is. Um, which represents like this is also its own thing. So, you know, you can come in and you can edit your own one if you want to spend the time to make a better one. So it is possible. Um, so, yeah, oops. Uh, we'll close and then, yeah, perfect. Oh, uh, what? Close, real quick, there we go. Um, like so. So the other method is through composure. Um, which isn't too difficult either. So uh, I think I don't have, oh, I do, oh, here it is, composure. Um, so to do it with composure, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, we're also gonna use a, uh, I think a cinema camera actor we're gonna need just to keep things nice and neat. So I'm gonna put that in here and move it up like so. Um, and I'm gonna change it to match my camera, which, had a 15 mil lens on it, nice and wide. Alrighty, so for composure, we need to create a new comp. Uh, we're gonna go empty comp shot and we're gonna call it um, Kia. So next what we need to do is we need to create a layer uh, and we're gonna go CG layer to start with. And this is going to be our, um, oh, it's automatically done the camera, interesting. So this is going to be does that mean this now has a oh, target camera active? There we go, that's what I was looking for. So in the details panel of our comp, we need to set our cine camera as the target camera now. Um, so this is going to take uh, the, uh, this. Uh, so this is going to take, a, render out a sort of our 3D scene. Um, next, what you also need to add in a uh, layer element, we need to add a media plate, and this is going to represent our uh, black magic. So uh, we need, under media source, we need the media texture input, uh, which under the black magic input assets is right here. There it is. So after we've added our uh, media plate in here, uh, if you just scroll down a bit under transform and compositing passes, we actually have right here a multi-pass chroma key. So uh, I can drop that down like so. 
And is it material? No. Where is these settings for it? Oh, wait, right. Key colors. So we've got a key color, which I'm going to choose as does this weird preview thing there, that one. Alrighty, and I can actually add a couple of key colors. So I'm going to add uh, the darker color here as well. All right, so I've added those two. And then under our parameters, we have a few of uh, these other settings we can use. So black clip, white clip, uh, bias, luma. These are all a bit more common to uh, keying software. Although I think we've actually got an okay looking key from what I can tell uh, just there. So. Alrighty, the last thing we need to do is comp all of these together. And uh, to do that, we need some, uh, what are they called, render targets. So I'm gonna create one, um, this one's gonna be called key, and then I'm gonna create another one, where it is, render target, render target, materials, render target. Uh, and this one is going to be called our CG layer. Uh, so we need to open these up and make sure they match our resolution of uh, whatever we're doing, which is 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1920 uh same with this one 20 by 1080 save like so that's yeah that's all fine Alrighty. so lastly on our media plate here if we go down further on output uh if we add an output and we go a render target asset uh, and we drop that down and so this is our key so I can add it in key same with our CG element up here uh, on output we can go outputs and go a render target asset drop it and add our CG here uh, what we can then do is create a new material um, and we're going to call this comp like so, uh, so we're gonna open up the comp. Uh, we're gonna change it from default lit to unlit, and we're gonna change it from opaque to uh, translucent. It's the one I want. Alrighty, and so we're gonna drag both our CG and our key in here, uh, and we're also gonna add another node called a um, over. There it is, compose. Uh, and so we're simply gonna take our RGBA here into that one and the rgba into that one and that's going to output one and we're just going to simply stick it into the emissive color and the a we're going to stick into opacity like so although actually think about it the opacity doesn't matter so we can actually just leave this as um opaque because it's comping everything and we could save uh, and so that gives us a material with our full comp on it um, all right, so after we've got our uh, material here, we can go into our Kia, so our main comp uh, composure composite, see the top one there. Uh, in the detail panels, under transform passes, we can add a new one and go custom material pass. Uh, and we can, in the drop down button, we can just put our new material in. And just like that, we have it composed, composited. Um, so look, if I, oops, I got rid of it. If I maximize it. Yeah, if I pin the preview and we grab the cinema camera, then as I move it around, ta-da, pretty cool. Um, as you can see, we actually get um, the penguin itself is oh, a little see-through. Um, the walls are, but I mean, that's not bad either. Um, so just like that, we then get um, and so here's where, if you want to try and jump ahead, we apply our, um, uh, we apply our track to the cinema camera. Um, so this one has to be a cinema camera. It can't be a blueprint. So you'll have to use the cinema camera blueprint. Um, so we apply a track to this, uh, and then we comp it this way. And then that's how we're going to get, um, Sort of a green screen with a track um, the only other thing you're gonna to have to think about is uh, how to delay the track because the there is a delay on the video input but uh, other than that that is how we do it so hopefully I'm not too late to the party uh, and I can help a couple of people out still but yeah
Maybe I can, there you go. Now it's like he's sitting on the thing. 